So today marks the one year anniversary of this channel, and that means it's time to get all sentimental and mushy, but before we do that, I want to tell you about the most important lesson in filmmaking I've ever learned. Like I'm sure a lot of you watching, I've spent the better part of my life behind a camera, or at the writing, or at the editing desk. But, well, you've never seen anything that I've worked on before this channel. And that's because... I hate them! Mr. Lincoln, I hate them all. This is the worst thing that has ever happened in the history of human events. I really don't like talking about it, sir. <laughs> yeah, I really can't say that most of the films I've made are any good. But in a world that all too often worships directors, there's something we always tend to forget. And it's that all of them used to be terrible. I had tried to make a film, uh, uh, it's at around 22, 23, I said, well, you know what, I'm gonna I'm make ready. a film. Yeah, I'm all ready. Right? I ended up working for like three years on this movie, and this was gonna be my feature, and I right. was like, and was financing it from working at a video store. So what it means was like, I would like get like $200 or so, and then we'd go off and shoot for the weekend, and then you would run out of money, and then I would like go back to work again, and then like eventually I would just keep piecing it together. So eventually, I ended up after like about about three years, I ended up like starting processing some of the footage and starting to see exactly what I had. And guess what? What? I did not have you at all no what I thought I had. All right, it was. <laughs> How really, was it different? It was. Uh, uh, it was amateurish. Yeah. It was real, and not in a charming way either. And, uh, <laughs> it had no charm. <laughs> and no charm at all. Pick any director you want and you'll find the same story. Stanley Kubrick, he disowned his first few films. Scorsese, he practically remade his first feature three times before it was even slightly good. M. Night Shyamalan was supposedly so embarrassed by his first feature that he tried to buy up every existing copy of it. Even our current talk of the town golden boy Damien Chazelle didn't get his start here. He started over here. And as morose as it may sound, I think there's something incredibly comforting about hearing all of that. The biggest misconception is people see someone's first film and they think that's what they did on their first day as a filmmaker. <laughs> so when people start retreating me, like when I did Slacker, like I just picked up a camera five minutes before, I always was really insistent on telling them, no, no, I've been doing this for a long time, actually. I, have, I did a Super 8 feature before this. I've done... You know, I have a closet full of shorts. I've been at this, you know, years and years at this point. There's no overnight success. There's no idiot savant filmmakers. There's no, you know, it's not going to work like that. It's a lot. It's a lot of work, and people don't want to hear that. They they want to think, oh, you just did it. Wow. And therein lies the lesson. Like every other bit of advice for young filmmakers, you can take it or leave it. it makes no difference to me. But for those of you who care, first. There's no such thing as a film prodigy. Second, your early work does not define you or what you will become capable of. And lastly, if you want to make films, then make films. But if you do it, do it because you love it, and for no other reason. And with that, I give you the first of hopefully many years of Royal Ocean to come. Cheers, friends. <laughs>